Hello and welcome to me, the new guy for. Um, uh, also, and Andy Peck playing uh, to my server, the Alien Crossfire as a planet cult. And you joined me last, we were just about to take Data Decentral. And you can just imagine, picture the scene now of um, Data Jack Rose looking out the mug over, over the, uh, over the, the um, I don't know, palace balcony at a city that is uh, in smouldering ruins, but despite that, still has about 6,000 people still within, still within uh, the borders. Uh, a, a large inability to muster any forces. The um, population of uh, Data Angels faction are computer scientists and hackers and computer geeks and, and, and the likes. These aren't uh, fighting men, and fighting women, and uh, this is this has been shown and, uh, time again in most in the battles that have been that have been fought, subject to aerial bombardment, and they've just been sort of taken aback by the sheer ferocity of the planet called attack and the uh, devastating aerial bombardment and the, the, the blitz that's allowed for the whole thing to crumble down within a couple of years. Um, and, and with that, when they saw the uh, Strength 13 Sharp Rover just approaching, it was, it was all a case of uh, a surrender, uh, unconditional surrender. And with that, uh, the conquest victory has been achieved. Um, okay, in the video now, I suppose. Ooh, and there we go, and all the planet is mine. Do we get a cutscene? No, not nothing from the book of planet. Really? Oh well, I'll just uh, sit and enjoy, sit and enjoy the credits, and um, and I hope you all enjoyed this uh, this let's play. It was nice to get it. Nice to get it finished, and I guess I should have got it done sooner, really. But as I say, there was a bit of bit of a problem towards towards the, the middle there. Well, sort of the beginning of the end, I guess, where it had problems recording, and it was all very demoralising. And I thought I'd try something else for the time being. Um, anybody famous do any of the voices? Mm, no, not really. Uh, I don't, I don't recognise any of them. Master of Miscellaneous with Susan Meyer. <laughs> Never noticed that before. So that's that. It's probably going to be a while to do till I do a uh, Alpha Centauri Let's Play again. There's plenty of uh, games I would like to try in the meantime. I might, uh, if you think back to the couple of episodes ago where I was talking about games that I've played, I wouldn't mind doing a quick Let's Play. Of, um, of Pharaoh, which is always a, a nice game, especially if you like building up Egyptian cities, which I suppose isn't, isn't too bad. Or I could do um, Caesar 3 or Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. Um, I could try something um, a little less strategic, a little more zoomed in. I could, uh, I could play The Sims for a while, at least then I'd be able to build up some characters. Uh, do a bit of do a bit of characters to really get sort of in, 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 trenched in, in into the game uh, as such. It's a bit of a shame with strategy games. You can't really. There's no characters to follow along with, and it, it's difficult breaking down the uh, breaking down the fourth wall, I guess, and actually being completely engrossed in the um, in the situation. Um, so I could do that. I wouldn't mind uh, demonstrating Rome, to Rome Total War because that's a, that's a good that's a good um, a good game that I quite enjoy. Made uh, made me very happy during my formative years. Um, best of the best of the genre, really. I think after Medieval Two Total War, it was okay, but the map was a bit too busy, and I had no time for merchants and priests and whatnot. Um, and uh, Napoleon and Empire Total War, I just couldn't get the hang of. Um, I was using gunpowder troops. I, I just sort of attacked the bayonets and used them as melee. It was, it was very off-putting. Oh, that's it. And that, that's the uh, that's the Elvis and Toro I got. I realised last time if I wanted to sort of when they're playing as the Morgans, I should have uh, picked a random map and have chosen abundant life forms because that gives you a plus twenty-five percent in your bonus because it makes it do, does make it quite a lot more difficult. You saw at the beginning of the game had so much fungus to clear. And rather fitting, considering the uh, the um, game we was playing and 
the cool the, the thing and the function of playing um mind worms in the mist is the book that i wrote when i retired retired at eight years old it's it's not bad and uh Nelson toy rating of 111 percent which admittedly is not as not as good as uh, my morgan one but this is far far shorter and probably more action-packed and i'll be honest I think the other, the first uh, Elfton Tour I let's play went on a bit too long. Um, I could have finished the top 100 turns earlier, but I just wanted to put the score up, which is terrible. Um, and that's it. It's time for time for a quick review. Let's see how the map looked. Oh no, let's look at the let's look at the table. There I am. Uh, that that wins with 203 percent. Um, not quite double the score, but it, it, it's just more developed. Ooh, that's that's a game that I played at a different time. Playing as the usurpers, playing as the aliens as a human player is just—it's just, it's just um, too easy. Well, there we go. You can see that the, the planet itself is not as developed. There's not as many cities, and all the cities aren't as built up. And population is where most of the score comes from. So I could have I could have gone for a high score, but I didn't see the point. I, was, I didn't know that about the planet called. I checked on the uh, the options, and the interludes were turned on. It's just that the plant they called the planet just doesn't get them. Which is a shame. There we go. I see me chasing the chasing chasing the drones, and then gobbling up the well, just, just everyone really. That's what you find that once you get on the roll, you just sort of carry on. Now there's sort of the, the early part, the, 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 it moves quite slowly. You get your crawls across the screen. Once you start conquering, it's very hard to stop. It takes a bit of, a bit of restraint, especially when you, you can see opportunities. Anyway, I think that I thought that was a very good game. It gave a sort of, if I, if I say so myself, and it gave a, um, a, con a contrast to the other Let's Play, where I built up the economy and, and boomed. And this one, I guess I rushed. I did build up my economy quite a bit. I could I could have done it quicker, but it would have been riskier. Yeah. So that's been um, so that's been me playing uh, Elf Centaur. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing it when it when it worked, and I uh, hope you carry on watching this channel. And um, if there's any particular type of game you want me to play, be it strategy or simulation or a more military orientated one or I could drive a first person shooter or something like that or um, just let me know and I think you could do channel comments or comment on videos or just comment I like comments comments please uh, you don't even have to watch or like uh, <laughs> so let, let, let me know what you want from this channel and I'll do my best to provide and if you can give any tips on how to keep commentary interesting I be very very much uh, very much obliged and uh, thank you for watching it's it's been a pleasure I've been the new guy for Andy Peck and uh, I'll see you in the near future